During current cancer treatment methods, a patient's healthy and diseased cells are bombarded, leaving people weaker and experiencing side effects. We believe that with new network science methods and by taking into account an individual patient's specific gene data, more precise treatments can be developed. On a clinical level, doctors can build up a genetic picture of their patients. For example, finding out about genetic mutations or the overexpression of genes. This molecular snapshot can be obtained at little expense and at different stages of treatment. Our team can then use these snapshots to create a disease network for the patient by comparing it with databanks from across the world. Computer algorithms and artificial intelligence are the key vehicles for the translation from big data to the clinical setting. Each gene of interest becomes a node in the network, and the lines that join the dots are functional connections. For example, where the product of one gene inactivates another. The databanks that our team are mining are huge. There can be tens of thousands of nodes. The network that is created will be disease-specific and, to some extent, patient-specific. Once the network is built, the important questions can really be asked. Are there any known biomarkers or disease drivers? Are there any survivability essential genes specific to this patient's cancer type? If you switch these genes off, the cancer cells will die, but the healthy cells won't be affected. Using the network, the team can identify combinations of drugs that trigger cascading changes in the network which target these genes. The answers to these questions could make up the basis of a precision and personalized treatment plan to target the essential survivability genes in a specific patient. So far, our team has applied this method to breast, ovarian, and pancreatic cancer data in order to identify combinations of drugs that could be effective. Some of the drug combinations are known already, but others have never been used before. This may be an indication that the algorithm has discovered a novel treatment strategy. Pharmaceutical companies can also use this new precision strategy in the search for new drugs and drug combinations. Our method is intended as a support for rather than alternative to clinicians. Open access to patient data will be crucial if this method is to have a future and the computational models have huge potential to pave the way towards new, efficient therapeutic approaches and personalized medicine. Our team believes that the key to optimal treating of individuals is integrating patient and disease genomics with artificial intelligence algorithmics on a global scale.